Yo, what's up, Pippa fans? This is Raphael from C Manga, and I'm here to give you a review of chapter 1023, A Gradually Nude. The first thing I've got to say is this author is such an asshole. The way he ended this chapter was so cruel. It was mean. It was such. It was one of the worst cliffhangers I've seen in a while. And it was just like, what really happened? Sakamura's reaction at the end was really like, like what the fuck? Like seriously, what, what happened? That's everyone who wants to know. Now we gotta wait for the next one. But other than that, there was only a few observations and stuff in this chapter. Like we see Itagaki, you know, shuffling, showing off everyone, wondering what Kronos means, and people are saying, "Oh yeah, um, it's like you know the god of time." And he's like, "Isn't that a bit exaggeration? Some think it suits him, all sorts of things like that." And in my, you know, he's come on calmly. He's just walked up there. He looks broad and big. Everyone noticed that. His back and chest is massive. And yeah, they're saying this is the first time they've met, you know, since the Rookie King finals. And obviously, this is a grudge match. He's gonna want revenge from Ikigaki. Um, Sendo and Mashaba they comment on, and they seem to be back in Ikigaki like nobody's business. They seem to think, yep, it's gonna be a victory for him. His skill and technique has improved dramatically. It's unreal. But Imura doesn't, you know, she's right to say this though. She says you shouldn't underestimate Imai because remember, he only lost by a marginal, um, um, what was it, loss. And it was a decision as well. And if it was a decision um, lost by a small margin, you know, like obviously he's going to be improved by then. Um, we haven't seen his progression, so he's most likely improved a lot and probably learnt how to counter. Um, Iagaki because he knows how much stronger he's gotten um, but Sendo's like it's different now though like um, Iagaki is so much more powerful than he was before he seems to be able to take down power boxes like it's nothing uh, especially after the Hoshi match which he you know dominated um, Eji Date and Takamura you know they're what do you call it um, they're special guests and they're making me laugh um, basically chatting rubbish on the stage I won't get into that and we also see Fuji you know the reporter he's standing back saying oh don't um, what do you call it Miata should be um, commentating as well and he's refusing saying I'm not commentating but he's begging him he's like oh at least give me you know opinion and he's like he says even though Ima is strong it's like Ugaki, his growth is so unreal it's maddening and it's like what will decide this fight is obviously the difference between them it's like has it closed or um has the gap grown in their power how big is the difference in their skill and yeah Ippo noticing as well wishing um luck to Itagaki in silence so yeah the match is getting to ready to start they're going gone to you know raise their gloves and to touch after they've been told you know the rules no head button and stuff and they kind of just they were just like that and then they walked off they didn't end up um, touching gloves and everyone was cussing like what the hell was that is like the rivalry this bad and i think someone might have got it right no one wanted to be the bottom man like you know because you obviously someone has to put their gloves underneath the other and it's like yeah we're coming in this um at the same level so no one's gonna be you know as they say the bottom guy or the bottom man um and the last bit before the match starts now fully starts is um Itagaki was remembering his baton pass. He said the last time he won, um well against Imai, but you know, he was put in the hospital and he said this time it's gonna be different. And Ihamai has his little, you know, monologue saying Itagaki lately he's improved so much he makes it look like he's got superpowers rather than boxing, um, you know, technique. And they're saying, Oh, um, Imae says he himself was the one that unleashed Itagaki's, um, you know, how, how skillful he is now. And it is true because that match did unlock his full potential. So he says to himself he's going to be the one to stop him now. And yeah, so one last little bit now we see Eji um, Dai commenting on the outcome. And he's saying, well, it's basically, you know, speed versus power match. They're polar opposites. And the only way um, Imae can probably deal with Iogaki is obviously to slow his um, damage his legs and slow him down because obviously he's going to use um, a lot of footwork to outmaneuver him. Um, Takamura's about to come at you saying, I don't have much time for small fries, but I'll tell you this. And then everyone's just gone like, and then he's gone, What the fuck? And he's like, Literally, the chapters end, and then there was like some loud scream. So that was, um, yeah, basically the troll. Um, you know the troll cliffhanger ending 
and obviously at this point it's it's either one or two things either Ima got knocked down or knocked out or Iragaki got knocked down or knocked out or something along those lines it's got I, I can't you know really see anything else unless something really obscure happens but I'm seeing that it's probably gonna be someone who's got knocked down already like from the get-go and I had a feeling this was gonna happen I don't know why but when I read this I thought because of all the hype and everything that everyone was doing like oh yeah Iragaki the speed king the you know now the time god of time and Ima, you know, the tank um, who has a rival with him, everyone was hyping here. I'm guessing they thought it was going to be a long match or something, but maybe this match might end, you know, in an instant. And you know, um, you know, you know, who knows? I'm, I know it's kind of out there and outlandish, or maybe the match will be, you know, get right down to it straight away. We're not going to have, you know, those typical drawn up, like someone got knocked down and then it's, it's going to be serious from the start. But I don't know. The only prediction I can think is someone got knocked down. Um, who it is though, don't know. That's what I'm saying. So that's what we have to wait for. Um, yeah. So other than that, it was you know those kind of short chapters. Um, it was you know um, definitely did its job at the end. Freaking impressing me. That cliffhanger was dirty. Um, but other than that, yeah, no, nothing much to say. Um, the only question I can think is who got knocked down or what the hell happened. So as usual, um, I've rambled enough. Um, what do you guys think? You know, let me know what you think um, of this chapter. What do you think the cliffhanger was like? What the hell do you think is gonna happen next time? And yeah, like I said, leave your opinions. And also, if you have, um, if you enjoyed this chapter, sorry, and the video, leave us a like, and also subscribe for more content in the channel. And I'll speak to you guys next time.